Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. Wanted to mention a few things about uh, decoding FT8. Um, I've um, had uh, the occasion to help someone on Facebook and um, noticed a few things that um, made me want to help him. So he's starting out in decoding FT8, and of course, one of the software that is the most popular in use is the WSJTX software that I use here. It also controls my rig when I do uh, FT8. Now, uh, there's one thing that a lot of people um, don't know about it, uh, the uh, WSJTX and decoding FT8, is that there's a few things you need to know about the software for it to decode well. Of course, an accurate clock if possible, like right now my decodes are a minus 0.6 point and general 0.4.5, still works well, but um, using a software that makes it even more accurate is even better. Um, so first of all, your clock needs to be um, quite accurate for it to work. Second of all, uh, the thing that a lot of people don't understand is the bandwidth is very important. And bandwidth has two places where you can check it out. So first of all, on your radio, make sure the bandwidth chosen in the single sideband is at least three kilohertz wide, because that's pretty much the size of the spectrum within the stations are on your computer's uh, screen. So the number you see here, 1589, 2245, 2314, 2380, these are the frequencies they are transmitting on. So if your base frequency is 28074 that you see here on my screen, which I'm 10 meters, well, 455 means it's 28.074.455 so this is the number of hertz above the main frequency. So if you see here 2,380, this is 2.38 kilohertz. It means it's in reality on 28.076 because it's 2 kilohertz higher. So that means that you need a 3 kilohertz wide bandwidth of listening. So don't use a very narrow filter on FT8 on your radios. You don't want to use 1.2 kilohertz or 2.2 kilohertz. You want to use 3 kilohertz or more uh, for a complete decode. Now, the other thing is you should see stations as high as 27, 2800 hertz here. These numbers here should go above 2000. You see here I got 2657. So that's one of the highest uh, frequency stations that I have. If you don't see anything above 1500 or 2000, it has to do with another part, WSJTX as a graph with it. This graph needs to be expanded all the way. So this is starts at zero. You need to make sure that it's expanded up to 3000. You see there's a station, there's a station here on 2900. There's another one here at 2700. Now, for a lot of people, this graph, when you start for the first time, is like this. It only has this much uh, info. So what you don't see above 1500 here is missing. It won't decode on the software. The graph has a direct effect on what you decode. So if you want to make sure you get all of the stations, you need the graph to go all the way to 3000. So you see, I click on the top of the window hold and move with my mouse and then on the right side when it becomes a double arrow here I click and hold and then I go to the right with my mouse to expand as much as it can which is 3000 kilohertz so this needs to be done if you want to decode everything that's available within the spectrum on the FT8 uh, frequencies. So make sure that you have all of that set correctly because you're going to miss out on tons of stations without knowing about it. And I guess this tutorial is probably good also for ham radio operators. So make sure that you know. And of course the ham radio operator because 
Apart from, if you're just a listener, you want to expand the graph, but for the rest, this graph is not of any use. But if you're a ham radio operator, this graph is where you can position yourself to transmit. So say, for example, I want to transmit a CQ on 28074 on 10 meters, I will choose an empty spot where there's no station. So for example here, there's an empty spot. I can go higher if I want. There's an empty spot here. You right click and you set receive transmit offset. This is going to set where I'm transmitting on my Yesu transceiver now. So you want to choose an empty spot so as not to interfere with anyone. And of course the receive part, the green line, will move to the different stations calling you if uh, it happens. So you just position yourself wherever you want, but you got to position in an empty spot uh, if you want to uh, use a transceiver. So this feature has no effect if you're just listening, just listening. Uh, just make sure that that graph is at 3000 kilohertz. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.